So we're here today to talk about a flexi rooter flex shaft repair. Um, in this case, we're going to be doing the um, cutter end of the uh, flex shaft assembly. Uh, the tools that you're going to need for this repair is an open ended wrench, um, a tubing cutter or uh, utility knife. In this case, this is the general super slice. Uh, you're going to need a 960 fourths Allen key, which is supplied with your flexi rooter. Flexi rooter shaft coupler, uh, if it is on the uh, cutter end, uh, the bronze thrust washer, um, a tape measure uh, to mark where you need to make your cut, a sharpie or other marking tool in order to mark your shaft, um, and then most critically, you're also going to need um, a, a cutting tool with a um, an abrasive cutoff wheel. So in this case, we just have a battery powered angle grinder. Um, and then obviously it's also a good idea to have your uh, flexi rooter instructions handy as well. Um, and then we also have flexi rooter lube on hand um, in case uh, the shaft is dry at the um, location of the repair. So uh, in order to do the repair, uh, first thing that you're going to need to do is identify the location of the brake. So in this case, it's pretty obvious it was at the uh, end of the shaft. Um, you know, if it was, uh, if the brake was anywhere within this flexible sheath end um, or at the end of the shaft, the first order of business is going to be to remove the uh, flexible sheath end assembly. So you'll take your open ended wrench, uh, you'll find these, there's two flats on this coupler here. So you'll just slide your wrench and you can just turn. this off by hand. Uh, and then we're going to want to uh, cut the shaft. So in order to cut the shaft, uh, we will put a rag around the shaft and then clamp it in a vise. And we're just going to cut back You know, make sure that the shaft isn't sticking out too much so that it doesn't uh, wiggle when you make the cut. Um, for this repair, you're going to want to make sure that you have safety glasses. Um, and then to make the cut, you'll just use your abrasive cutoff wheel and just go perpendicular to the shaft and just cut right through. Then the next step is it going to be that you're going to want to deburr it. Um, so we'll use the abrasive cutoff wheel for this and we'll just loop all the way around the edge. So after we've deburred it, we're going to want to make sure that the bronze thrust washer will fit over top of the shaft. So in this case it does. So we are ready to cut the sheath back. So in order to cut the sheath back, you are going to measure 11 inches from the tip of the flexible shaft. And then you're going to take your uh, tubing cutter and you're going to find your mark. You're going to want to press in gently so that it cuts through the, uh, the outside sheathing, but not so hard that it cuts or damages the shaft.
So as you can see, there is a uh, dry spot there. So we are going to add just a little bit of flexi rooter lube to make sure that this operates nice and smooth. Wipe off any excess lube. And now you are going to put your flexible sheath end assembly on. Just simply slide it over, get the thread started by hand, pushing and turning. And once it's been started, you'll take your wrench, turn it the rest of the way on. And you're going to want to turn until you feel it bottom out and an ever so slight amount of resistance. Now we'll want to install our um, we're going to want to install our shaft assembly, or sh our uh, shaft coupler rather. Um, so slide the washer on first. Once the washer is on, easiest way to make sure that the uh, shaft is centered is to close, gently close one end of the shaft assembly, or the shaft coupler assembly to make sure that the shaft won't go past the halfway point. And then you will remove these screws. And now put the shaft coupler on making sure that the shaft is right at the midway point of the uh, shaft coupler. You're going to want to tighten both screws, which is about hand tight. Um, not overly aggressive, but not overly loose either. Double check, make sure both sides are tight and verify that the gap on the right side is the same as the gap on the left side um, and that the shaft is right in the middle of the coupler and then you're ready to install your cutter set onto the end of the shaft coupler um, and get on to your next job.